Are we are we on? Alright. We are Be back. natural. Be natural. Like you're just talking to me. I'm natural. If nothing else, I'm natural. Vlogging. Uh, we're here at the paint store right now on our way to Hobby Lobby. So we're refabricing, if that's what you call it, reupholstering, fancy, the dining room chairs, and we are trying to stain the tabletop. So we're here to get the stain and to get the fabric. Yeah. <laughs> So many choices between these two. I don't know, I just feel like I'm leaning more towards this one. So this is the one Adam likes. This is a bad representation. This is the one I like. This is a bad representation of Weathered Teak. Weathered Teak is a gorgeous So gray does that mean that this color. isn't accurate either? Of course it's not accurate. It's a <laughs> then why are we even looking at them? It's Hobby Lobby, our home away from home. Adam just found the same kind that's already been on the chairs. It's pretty stinking close. Is... No, look, it has the same pattern as it does. But I don't see ABCs. It's no. the same family. It's too bad this has letters all over it because I actually like the base color. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Well. You wanna get the ABCs? So close and yet so far. This is the face of a sad woman who can't find the fabric color of her dreams. That's this is not perfect. this. This is definitely not of her <laughs> dreams. Wrong dreams. So it looks like we might be trying to find a different fabric store or taking our chances online, or we could dye our own color. Week two, I know this doesn't seem like a two week project, but when you work on the weekends, it is a two week project. So we had to stop, we went and got some finer grit sandpaper to put the finishing touches on the sanding. I got some 220 here to make it smooth. We'll finish our sanding, which shouldn't take long. We'll clean it up a little and then we'll start putting our stain on. So you should know. This is the one we went with, what's it called? Ranch Oak. It only took me 30 minutes to pick. <laughs> Between three colors. I like Ranch Oak. No, I kind of like this one. What do you think about that one? So you waffled. Um, Hopefully I don't regret it. That's what I wanted to tell you. Don't, especially with stain, don't get the initial, oh my goodness, I hate that color, or oh my goodness, I love that color, because it's gonna soak in. I'm gonna work it, so. Work it, baby. I'm gonna work it. Don't freak <laughs> out when I initially put it on there. Okay. I feel like that disclaimer is more terrifying. And I think I would've anything. been fine if you hadn't said that. Yeah. Forget everything I just said. I like it. Yeah, it's gonna be good. 
you doubted me. What do you think, Link? So, tell them a scary story about what happened to Lincoln yesterday. Okay. So, <laughs> I get a text message from my dad. We should really let him tell the story. Maybe we will. But, come with me. So, my dad hears Lincoln barking into the woods over here. And over here in this pile of rocks. Right there? Right out here. Lincoln was barking and had a three foot copper head pinned up against one of those rocks and he was barking at it. So my dad went up and con like fronted Lincoln like, what are you barking at? And saw the snake and he said it was all coiled up and striking at Lincoln and barely missing him. And Lincoln was just barking his head off. So my dad grabbed Lincoln, took him inside, came back out with shoes on to get the snake and it had retreated under some of those rocks. So we are in active snake hunt mode where we must eliminate the three foot copperhead from right outside our bedroom window. Oh my goodness. I didn't know it was striking at him that close. Yeah. So all morning Lincoln's been asking to come outside. No, no. Begging. Begging, begging to come outside. And he's on house arrest. He is not happy. He's not a happy <laughs> dog. I didn't realize that snakes have a smell. Adam says you can smell them. Oh yeah, you can smell them. They stink. The poor sad dog. <laughs> there he is, on house arrest. On me. So today is Friday. Because Adam and I could not find any fabric at Hobby Lobby, Somebody at Hobby Lobby recommended a place in Kannapolis, North Carolina called Del Rey's Fabric. And so I'm gonna go in there and check out if I can find some fabric to cover the dining room chairs. discounted fabrics is not air conditioned <laughs> so it was pretty hot back there so the gray fabric I ended up going with was a little bit darker than I wanted but you save so much money by buying the pre-cut like leftover scraps then off a spool so hopefully it'll still work out like the other stuff was $20 a yard and I need three and a half yards so that would have been pretty expensive so the piece I got was 16 mm -hmm. 